Greetings and salutations, YouTube family and friends. Tier Vlogs here. What's up, guys? Hello, my lovelies. I'm Brandy from Amateur Cakes and Baking by Brandy. Excelsior. I'm married to her. <laughs> what is your name? Bob. So we are on location here at Amateur Cakes, also known as the House of Bob and Brandy here. And we're going to discuss a little something today. The convention season is starting up, and as you all know, I am a huge costuming geek, as are one of my friends here. So we're going to go over a convention survival guide, if you will, talking about the do's and don'ts of con preparation and while you're at the con. So for this video, we're going to talk about what you should do before the con even starts. Let's dive into it, shall we? The first point we want to look at is deciding on the convention or conventions that you want to go to. Don't just automatically decide a week beforehand, I'm going to this convention. You can if you want, but it's a lot easier in the long run if you pick out which conventions you want to go to, what time of year they take place, so you have plenty of time to save up for them, which leads on to our next point. You want to make sure you have plenty and plenty of finances to go. I mean, do you know where you're going to stay, how much that costs, how you're going to travel? I mean, you need money. To be honest, I mean, you need money for convention swag, you need money for hotel rooms, you need money for the convention, period. And if you don't start saving the moment you pick your convention or conventions, how are you going to pay for it? It's not a cheap endeavor. And be uh, register, best of all, um, you're not really sure if the convention is going to sell out. It, it happens sometimes with a convention that's completely sold out. People who get there may not be able to get in. And the prices can be like half off sometimes if you pre-register ahead of time. The next thing you want to look at is your hotel room. Now a lot of the times these conventions are held at hotels, so you have hotels that are connected to the area that you're going to be at the convention or there's a convention center that has a hotel in it. Is that the best hotel for you? A lot of times they'll offer discounts because you're staying at that hotel for the convention. Other times, other area hotels might know that there's a convention going on and they may offer some very competitive pricing. So don't always settle shop around and look for the best hotel room for you because, let's face it, the more you have in your pocket to start out with, the more you can spend on swag. That, and if you can Google it, they got what? hotel sites online that you can just go, you know, like different hotels as they have multiple hotels. It is by the interstate and three miles down the road, but you're saving 80 bucks a night. I'd rather go with that. Yeah, that will more than pay for the gas. And if you're splitting the bill with people, especially if it's people you're not really familiar with, get the money up front so they don't stiff you later on and suddenly you have a 200 plus hotel bill and you have no money to cover it. Unless you're that generous friend. Next, you want to think about your transportation. Are you driving, flying, taking a train in this day and age? That's something you really, really need to know. And plus, if you're not driving, who is? You know, I mean, if, let's say Travis drove us, we would at least offer him some money for gas because he was kind enough to let us use his car to go to the convention or, you know, even vice versa. It's just common courtesy. Uh, food, definitely. I mean, I've seen more than enough attendees pass out because of lack of food. Um, they just didn't think they needed to eat. They could survive the whole day on Pocky and snacks. They really can't. Um, see what's around. See if they have, you know, if you're into fast food, see if what that's around there. You can always order from the hotel, but $14 for a hamburger at some of them is not, may, you know, may not be the best option. It's going to be pure Angus beef. Yeah. <laughs> $14 for a hamburger. If you get there, and I mean, everything's too expensive. There's always like a Quickie Mart or... Gas Mart. Or, 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 or like, store. Yeah, or grocery store that you can get lunch, meat, and bread if you have a fridge or ramen noodles or whatnot. Next thing to look at, right before you go to the convention, when you pack. Okay, so if you're going in costume, that's great. Make sure you pack your costumes, all the accessories and whatnot that goes along with it. But you might not necessarily be in costume the whole time. So a few things that you have to think about before you go. Your street clothes. What is the weather going to be like? Are you going to be going in a swing season, like when it's going from spring to summer, from winter to spring or something like that, so you may have extremes that you have to deal with. Make sure that you're packing something to cover that. One weekend we went and it went from 75 degrees on Friday, it 
snowed on Saturday. We had a mini blizzard, and by Sunday it was 32 degrees. And yet the snow all melted. And the snow all melted for some. It's it was a Missouri cotton go figure. But you have to prepare for some stuff like that. If you're going to show up in five layers, is it the middle of July? You know, if you're going in uh, some skimpy shorts and no shirt, is it in the middle of January or February? You have to look into this kind of stuff so you can prepare. Because you don't want to be uncomfortable while you're at the convention. You don't want to be in Florida in the dead of summer wearing nothing but all black. Exactly. Or 80 pounds of costume. It happens. We, we had a stormtrooper pass out because he wore a scuba suit in the middle of July in Orlando. And I was pouring sweat out my glove because my costume was heavy. Did not think of that because... I figured, yeah. and you think it was going to be inside, you know, inside's going to be nice. Not usually. And it is Friday. Friday is nice. Yeah, there's hardly anybody's there. And then Saturday you have all that body heat that's just heating and heating and heating. And the air conditioning can't keep up. Or, I've been to a few where they have a lot of windows and the cold just goes right through the windows and all the ones that are wearing skippy outfits are freezing their butt off. Yep. And then one other thing you also have to look for, your basic toiletries. Now, oh, but the hotel usually supplies a lot of that stuff. You need more. Yeah, some soap, and we're talking the little skinny bars that don't get you clean at all, and some shampoo. What about brushing your teeth? What about deodorant? For the love of all things sacred, confunk is a thing. For those of you who don't know what that is, and you go to a convention, wait till Saturday afternoon. You will smell it, and it will not be pleasant at all. Deodorant will fix that right up. Oh, we went to one con where it was just Saturday con. By the middle of Saturday, there was con funk. It was bad. So definitely remember your basic toiletries because you're going to be staying for a slightly prolonged period of time, a couple days. So you might need a few things for hygiene purposes to have that taken care of. Another thing to protect yourself from is what they call con crud. That's when everybody's germs gets together and makes the super bug to pass out to everybody. Hand sanitizer is your best friend. Always make sure, if you're going to touch any surface that a bunch of people have touched, before you even touch your face, make sure that you get some hand sanitizer because you don't want to come home from the convention having such a wonderful time, and then you spend that week afterwards sick as a dog because you caught the con crud. Now, you can also get airborne. You also can get airborne as well. But hand sanitizer probably works a little bit better. You may also want to get uh, Febreze because I, I, I did do an Iasha. I showered every day, wore deodorant. Doesn't matter. If the costume weighs 80 pounds, it's not going to matter. And the Febreze does wonder with keeping the costume at least somewhat fresh smelling. So when you're giving hugs, you're not this big sweaty ball of... Ugh. Unless, exactly. unless you pick multiple costumes, one for each day. Another thing to look at, okay, so you brought your costumes, that's great. Well, maybe they made their costumes. Maybe you made your costumes. Either way, you, you've got something that you want to make sure you're putting your best foot forward because it's a costume you've made or it's a costume you've bought and you're very proud of it. Let's say Saturday afternoon, one of the seams breaks. Oh no, now you're in trouble. Or the cardboard decides to fall apart. Or the cardboard decides to fall apart or something of your costume, the structural integrity is compromised. Bring a repair kit. It doesn't have to be anything elaborate, just something, some thread, needles, some glue, hot glue, make sure you unplug the gun before you walk out the door. We don't want fires, that's very bad because that'll put a damper on your, your weekend right there. That's no fun having no. all the all the fire trucks Actually, there. No, we, we've had fire alarms pulled before at conventions, but never an actual fire. Knock on wood, that never happens. There goes the rain. Because of a faulty glue gun. Hitting the um, Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree usually, or one of the Dollar Stores usually has a little kit about that big that has your sewing needle, Ten kinds of thread, um, need, uh, everything in there you need to actually patch your uniform back up. There you go. That's what I usually use. <laughs> that works. Couple bucks, that's all it takes. Doesn't take a whole lot. For cosplayers on a budget, you don't have to spend a whole lot of money in order to make it work. Ah, yeah, finances. There we go. All about finances. And speaking of finances, our last point that we can wrap up with. Saving money on food. Let's say that the hotel you're going to doesn't provide that complimentary free breakfast every morning. Now, some do. And those hotels are awesome. We love you for that. As a con goer, free breakfast is amazing. But not all hotels offer that. So in the event that they don't, bring breakfast supplies. Pop-tarts, granola bars, fresh fruit, anything that doesn't require refrigeration. And if it does, 
you can always get a mini fridge if the hotel allows for it. Some of them do, some of them don't. Or you can use a cooler. Or you can use a cooler. But that doesn't last long. Just kind of make sure that you have something readily available. That's one less meal that you have to worry about later on, and that's less you have to pay for throughout the weekend. Water bottles. Bring one with you to refill, or if you don't like the water that they offer at the hotel, bring lots of bottled water, because a lot of the times if you like that, then you're going to want to drink it. And we'll talk more about what you can do with the, the water throughout the weekend in our next video. That pretty much covers the preparations. So you're getting ready to go to your first con. You've done all the preparations. You're thinking about all the fun you're going to have, all the costumes you're going to see. So what do you actually do while you're there? Well, to find out, come to over to my channel. The link will either be in the description below or it'll be tagged in Travis's video. T Rap Vlogs. Sorry. Yeah, there we go. Hey, it, it's all good. People know me as T Rap Vlogs, T Rap, Trap, whatever. Call me anything, just don't call me late for supper. But it's for smelling, by the way. Oh, yes. We're going to have an amazing dinner tonight. But, um, all right, that'll do it for this video, guys. Uh, like she said, there's going to be a link down below to the next part of this video, which is going to be talking about what happens at the con. And uh, we'll hope to see you guys there. So until next time, talk to you soon, and take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.